about something else. So it is it is between the teachers. It's not for you. Okay. Okay. We're gonna start the class in five minutes. Yeah. We are waiting for our friends to join in. I think I could start with the prayers at least. So it'll take a little bit. So. Okay, let's start with our prayers. Om Magnana Timiranda Sikha Nanjana Shala Guru Nilitam Yena Tasmai Shi Guru Vena Maha Shi Chaitanya Mano Pishtam Stapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadamahyam Dadati Swapadantikam Vandeham Shi Guru Sri Yutapadakamalam Sri Gurun Vaishnavamscha, Sri Rupam Sagrajatam, Sahagana Ragunathan Vitam Tam Sajivam, Sadvaitam Savadhutam, Parijana Sahitam, Sri Krishna Chaitanya Devam, Sri Radha Krishna Padan Sahagana Lalita Sri Vishakhan Vitamscha He Krishna Karuna Sindho Dina Bandho Jagatpati Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namostute Tapta Kanchana Gaurangi Radhe Vrindavaneshwari Rishabhanu Sute Devi Pranamami Hari Priye Vansha Kalpata Rukhyascha Kripa Sindhu Bhyayeva Cha Patitanam Pavani Bhyo Vaishnavi Bhyo Namo Namaha Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prishtaya Putale Shri Mate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Niti Namine Namaste Saraswati Devi Gauravani Pracharine Nevishesha Shunyavadi Pashatya Deshatharine Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadhadhara Shriva Sadi Gaura Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna, everyone. Thank you all for joining. 
a mother tree? Yes, Ryan. Hare Krishna. I'm happy to see you. I have, I've been seeing you all in class. It's just that I have not I think I know that this is an, a path from... Is that actually true of of a, a monkey, a chimpanzee used to turn into a man? My mom <laughs> said it wasn't, it's fake. <laughs> okay, that's what we are here to find out, right? We See, this is a very vast topic. We will only touch the surface of it, but it will give you a curiosity, right? To learn, to read more, to understand more about this, okay? I hope that will help. Okay, Darayan, shall we get started? Okay. Thank you all for joining. Ryan, I think your camera is still broken. I can't see you. Yeah, it is only black. It's only black. <laughs> yeah, I'm so I miss seeing your face, but thank you for joining. Okay, so thank you all for joining. Thank you for coming, and we will get started. Okay, so today we will talk about the topic of evolution. I'm sure the older kids have already heard about this. You would be much more better, you know, more knowledgeable than me in that topic because it's been a long time since I've learned about, you know, the science about of evolution. But we will look at it from a different angle, okay? Uh, and for the little children, we'll try to make it as simple and as easy as possible. If you have questions, you can ask at any time and we will try to answer if we know the answer if not we, i'll get back to you okay so we also will have a kahoot at the end of today's session so please be ready with your devices i don't know if you need another device i think one device should be enough so if one device is enough go ahead because i know that the question and the answers are showing up on the same device perfect thank you okay so uh, those are some housekeeping notes uh, we will get started okay so how have we evolved don't get too worried by the gif it was just because it's a fun nice cute image so i just put it okay so there are two theories one is about darwin's theory of evolution which many of you might be familiar with which you learn in school and the other talks about spiritual evolution Yes, academically advanced, Abhinav. Do you have something to say? I don't think the Darwin's theory is really taught at school uh, at schools anymore. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, at our time. And yes, Abhinav K. Did you have something to say? I was going to add on to the other Abhinavs. Like, yeah, it's only taught, like, it's taught, like, in college. It's not taught in schools anymore. Oh, really? Okay. That's yeah, nice. they teach like the monkey uh, evolution, but that's uh, because uh, Darwin's theory affects some religions. But even oh. the uh, monkey also kind of affects our religion too. Okay. Okay. Yes, Hari Priya. Um, they taught uh, for me. They taught Darwin's theory of evolution in school. And you are in middle school. Okay, Ra Ryan, don't worry. You're not taught this in elementary. This is for kids who are in middle it's school. It's okay, Mataji. I watched a cartoon video and I just saw it in Evolution 1. And nice. Okay. It's, it's a, it has fish, a monkey, a zoo, and, and some others. Very and good. Mataji, it, it happened same like Ryan to me, but I watched the same, but like a different channel and video. That was so you learn about evolution only. Right. And so it's in transformation. Who are want to do the Kahoot? Who are me, 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 that is my goal too. I want to make sure we can be done by 3.15, uh, I mean, sorry, 4.15, so that we have 15 minutes at least to do the Kahoot. It's a very short Kahoot, but we need to get there, right? Uh -huh. So let us get started. I love, uh, uh, you know, your feedback. I love talking to you, uh, but we can do it over time, okay? You mean 5.15? Uh, okay, whatever time it is. Everyone there. has a different I'm time. On PST, me, I'm on central time, that's why, okay? But so, I'm like, I didn't delete the Kahoot because I was going to delete Kahoot today. Oh, very good. Okay, so 
question to you now because many of you know what is evolution. So I'm going to ask you, what is your definition of evolution? I'd like only maximum two answers. So uh, I have so many hands here. I see so many hands here. Uh, they raised their hands for like a... Um, okay, I'm going to... Like a hood thing. Yeah, I'm going to lower all hands and then... Yes, whoever wants to answer this. Okay, academically, AAA, AAA. Come on, answer. Thank you. Um, uh, evolution is basically how a theory of how uh, animals become up to human from like water species up to land, land species and then to human. Okay, so yes, it is a change of body from one form to another, right? Okay, uh, Chaitanya and Amrita. Chaitanya, okay. Uh, Chaitanya. Uh, so do we both get separate answers? Uh, you oh okay. Do you both have separate answers? Uh, sort of. Okay, yeah. you can uh, both answer. Uh, um, I think uh, evolution is technically how um anything like goes from one change to another. Okay. Okay. Very good. Okay. So how? how... Madhuri, can I say one? Uh, I I didn't say mine. Yes. Go ahead, Amrita. Um, I think. Evolution is how um, things that are alive change over many years or a short period of time. Very good. So we all have kind of, uh, thank you all for answering. Harvey, I have also one theory too. Me too. Like to say. Yes. Okay. So I, uh, if it is the same answer, I think we are all good because all of you no, have. No, it's different. I have one uh, different one. What do you have to say that's different, Shivansh? Um, like about evolution. Hmm. Do you see like young babies when they're born, they like change their voices after some time, they stop crying, that's evolution and like they grow big, that's also evolution. Very nice. I like your definition actually. Can I say something? Who is that? Wait, hold on. Abina. Abina, okay. Okay, go ahead quickly. So, evolution is basically, so when, say, like, I don't know, any sea animal, like, a dolphin, it's a mammal, that's a sea animal, so, like, it can, like, over the course of millions and millions of years, it might evolve into something else, like, a land mammal like a uh, gorilla, like on the photo. <laughs> okay, so we'll see how that works, right? Have we? Do we? Probably gonna say something too. Yes, Ryan, and this is going to be the last. Okay, yes, Ryan. Okay, so oh, evolution means that it if that it it's evolution. You mean because it's the a human is a mammal, so. Ooh, the mammals are turning, so the those mammals are, are turning into humans because they're all because a human is a part in the mammal, Ooh, is a mammal, so that's why he it's called evolution because is the man is a type of mammal. Thank you, thank you. Oh, I have a slow okay. okay, hold on. Okay, thank you. Please hold on. Uh, Kabir, I think I, I'll, 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 uh, we'll save your shloka for the next time, okay? So let's quickly look at what it means. You all explained it very nicely and you all have the same idea. I also like the idea that Shivansh brought in is that we are evolving every moment, right? So how we are evolving? Ah, thank you for coming on video. I, I, I really appreciate everybody who has turned on their videos and who are here because I get to see you all. That's a wonderful experience for me. Okay, so this is the theory that explains how living entities are changing over a long period of time. Okay, so we can, there is some evolution that we can see. Okay, but mostly it is very difficult for us to see it within our lifetime. Okay. Um, so let us see how people have come to be the way they are. So when you look around you, what do you see? 
you see that there are so many different life forms around us, right? Where did they all come from? So how do we- Brahma. From whom? Every living entity used to come from Brahma. Thank you so much. Yes. So where do they all come from? How do we explain all the different forms of life around us? Okay. So we say Brahma, but that is our... Uh, because Brahma is the creator. Yes, that's our understanding, right? From where we are from, right? So that is the Vedic understanding that Lord Brahma is the creator. But other people may not accept it that way, right? So what did they say? Yes, Akira, do you want to say something? So um, we, we humans count as animals because we evolved from animals, right? Mm. Ah. we can also we are advanced animals right so we can say that uh I, Hare krishna okay so uh let's see so there are let's look at the darwin's theory okay so over here this is the example that i think our triple a uh, mentioned uh, our abhinav had mentioned that uh from uh, earlier forms of water of animals that uh, began in water that started their life in water like fishes that started in water slowly they developed different organs that helped them to slowly move and adapt to the land environment so as fishes do you think any of them are able to survive on land absolutely not right fishes they need oxygen that is provided in you know through and the Mataji, yeah. it's not good to be any mammal well, because some people used to hunt mammals for food like fish fish and hunt animals for their fur and elephants and rhinos for their horns so it's not good to be a mammal we are That's mammals right. you're a mammal humans are mammals okay. yeah but they don't hunt mammals they don't <laughs> hunt all mammals. Wait, okay. okay. guys, this is what well, this is a joke. Hello. We are mammals, but we hunt it's not, mammals it's not good. Too. It's not good to be an animal. So it's it's not, plant. Plant. we are still advanced uh, animals. Okay, so I have a question for you all. We 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 may be animals based on uh you know where we belong scientifically, which kingdom we are from, but like what you all said, we have evolved, we evolve every minute. So our consciousness also depends on where we are. Are we thinking like animals? Are we behaving like animals? Or are we behaving like, uh, you know, much more advanced human beings, right? If are we behaving like uh, you know, heavenly beings? Are we having divine qualities? Or do we have demonia qualities, right? Do That's exactly what determines our you know level of consciousness and that's going to determine where we are in this where far we have evolved also okay so i think we are getting a little ahead i was trying to go step by step to all of you. why is there a skype sound yeah that's what please mute if you are not going to speak I, yeah thank you okay so According to Darwin's theory of evolution, one living being, it adapts to its environment and it evolves into another. So according to Darwin's theory, some fishes were able to evolve and become amphibians, okay? Like our reptiles, like, uh, okay. Snakes, lizard. Mm, very frogs, good. Yes, very apples. good. Apples. <laughs> thank you, thank you, enough. Okay, but Crocodile. spiritual evolution. What is it? Komodo dragon? I, I think we had enough examples. Thank you. Komodo the lizard. So what is spiritual? Komodo dragons aren't amphibious. Okay. The spiritual evolution is that according to our karma, according to our activities, every living being is given a facility. What is that facility? To occupy a particular form of life. Okay. So... According to our shastras, our scriptures, what do we say? We have the understanding that 
all of the life forms were already existing from the very beginning. We have a, we say there are 8,400,000 different species of life and all of them have been existing and are already there, right? Some get extinct, some, some, you know, uh, some new forms might come, but what happens is that based on our karma, based on what our activities are, based on whether we were really good or really bad, we get to be in the form of an amoeba or a fish or an elephant or a tiger or a tree or, a, you know, flower or, I mean, a plant or one of those, okay? So that is what spiritual evolution is all about. So. Let's look at what this Darwin's theory is. Many of you know who is this Charles Darwin. He is an English scientist. He was trying to study nature. So how did he study nature? By observing what happened around him, right? So he went on a trip. Yes, Abhin, okay, do you want to answer? Or shall I continue? Uh, so the birds can i explain why they're different even though like their beaks even though they're the same birds okay yes go ahead so uh charles darwin he went to, uh, he was on a worldwide trip on a ship uh, he traveled to south america right and then he went to the galapagos islands in south america and then he he visited a couple and noticed that the mockingbirds had different beaks like the one with the slim, like the long beak that's skinny, like it was on an island where it, like bugs were available, so it didn't need a big beak. While the big beak one needed to catch fish, so it had a big beak, so like, et cetera. Very good. So yes, so he was, he studied, he observed what happened to the animals around him. He found that the same species of bird had different features based on the location where they were, depending on what kind of food they could eat. Okay, so he wrote a book later on in life that was known as the origin of species by natural by means of natural selection this was written in 1859 and that is where his theory of evolution by natural selection was mentioned okay so what is this theory what is natural selection so all according to this what they say is that all living entities are struggling to survive Everybody has only one goal. We all want to survive. We will do anything for that, right? But what happens is that there are some that are better at surviving than others. They have some traits. They have some favorable characteristics that help them to survive in a particular environment. This is known as survival of the fittest. Now, those living things, what do they do? they pass on those helpful trends, those helpful traits, qualities that they have to their next generation. And in that way, over a long period of time, those animals can evolve. So that's why there is a picture of a monkey who, or an ape-like man who over time was able to evolve into this modern day homo sapien or human being that we are seeing okay so why is this theory important because it is one of the most popular explanations for the variety that we see around us when we see a lot of different species so even if you go out into your garden what do you see you see bunnies you might see deer you might see uh, snakes you might see grasshoppers you might see butterflies you see bugs you see small birds you see so so many ladybirds ladybug right there are so many and then there are so many varieties of plants also that you would see around you all of them are living beings right where did all this variety come from so for us to explain okay until then until you know sometime before the darwin until then the idea that god was the creator like what some of you said brahma had created everything for us 
that used to be a very widely accepted idea that God is the only creator because we didn't have any other explanation. But when Darwin brought out this theory oh. that from one animal, another evolves, another evolves, another evolves, and then they keep going from one to the next, everybody found that as a way, as a, you know, way to con, con, complete, you know, completely challenge the theistic concept that God is our creator. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, like what some of you said, they stopped teaching them because it... it no, no. Okay? So, okay. So, did this happen by chance or was it planned? So, according to his theory, like as you see, you see there is an eagle above and there is a population of mice, okay, mice that have, uh, that have moved into an area, okay, because it is such rocky terrain, everything is grayish. So, the grayish mice were not clearly seen by the birds. So, the birds were attacking all the light colored mice. So, what happened? The grayish mice, because they are more in number now, they started giving birth to more gray mice and the others also started adapting and they also the majority of the population started becoming more gray than or black than tan in color okay and so like that over a period of time the lighter colored mice will leave right there won't be any more of those so that's what he called natural selection so the, the ones that are, have a better chance of survival, they are moving forward and the others kind of fall off, okay? Mm. So then what, this theory, it is completely based on chance. So what is the chance? When the conditions are most favorable, then a particular form of life can transform into another. That is what he was trying to say but how can life happen by chance right how can everything so the scientists say that at a particular point in time when all the variables were completely favorable life happened okay but this is not a once one time scenario life is always happening right this is constant Right? They are saying that that was the initial trigger. Okay? But when we say that something happened by chance, we cannot explain how or what is behind it, what is responsible for it. So everything has to actually be planned. Now, who is the one who is planning it? There is a planner there is somebody who is behind all this right there is someone who is giving a uh, who's designing this entire material world around us so once we recognize the design we need to know uh, know and we need to learn how to acknowledge the one who is designing it okay so like how there is a plan in the movement of the sun, right? The sun doesn't decide, today I will rise in the east. Tomorrow I will rise in Ryan's house first. Day after I will go to Abhinav's house, right? The sun doesn't decide like that. The sun rises every single day according to a calculation, right? So we can calculate, okay, to, tomorrow the sunrise is going to be between this time and this time. Don't we calculate that? We are able to calculate it because it is a planned event. It is not like, okay, tomorrow maybe the sun might rise. If the sun rises, it is going to be at this time. No, that is not how such things work, right? And same way. So like this, there is nothing that happens so whimsically. Everything is a plan, okay? So then if there is a designer, who could it be, right? Who could it be? Let's find out. So this material ingredients, they say that all these material ingredients combine together and create life. This is our scientific explanation.
and I'll look at it again in the next slide. We'll come back to it. Okay, so what happens is they were a combination of different ingredients like elements and chemicals and all of those uh, combined together and created life. But if something has to be combined together, how is it? Is it going to combine on its own? You keep some hydrogen and some oxygen side by side. Is it going to combine and become water? No. Some event should happen. Some person should actually do the combining. Like in our everyday life, okay, I know that some of you might be cooking, right? When you are cooking, what do you do? Do you just go to the store, get all the ingredients and then bring them and then leave those ingredients on the table? Does it then become the dish that you want? No, right? If we are cooking, we need to make sure that we mix all the ingredients together or we chop the vegetables, we put them on the stove, we you know, uh, put them on the fire, cook them and then make whatever dish we want, right? So in the same way, by combining in various ingredients in nature, the Supreme Lord, he is able to produce uh, all the various species of life. Okay, so what do the materialists, what do the scientists say again? The scientists say life in of elements and chemicals. So who created all these elements? Who is the creator of all these various chemicals that they're talking about? Hmm? So what does Krishna say? I know some of you might already know this verse. Huh? Krishna first says that, jan that aham sarvasya prabhavo mata sarvam pravartate iti matva bhajante ma yeah, very good. Yeah. So what does that mean? Krishna is saying, I am the story. Krishna is saying, I am the origin of everything. He is the source. He is the original source of all that exists in the spiritual world, in the material world. You see this? Each and every animal, all the universes, all the planets, everything is coming from Krishna. He is telling us this. You know, have you seen any person tell you that I am the source of everything that's coming? I am the source of the dolphins. I am the source of, um, you know, the sun and the moon. Uh -huh. If such a person, if a person tells you that, then you need to test them. Okay, if a person tells you that I am the source of everything and I am God, you definitely need to test them because Lord Krishna has himself shown us what God can do. He has shown us what his power is, right? Arjuna told Krishna, okay, when Krishna says, Aham sarvasya prabhavo, matta sarvam pravarte, he's saying, I'm the origin of everything. Every, you know, the wise who, who know this, they constantly are engaged in my devotional service. So after this, what does Arjuna say? Huh? In the 11th chapter of the Bhagavad Gita, Arjuna asked Krishna, oh, please show me that universal form of yours, that uh, from which everything is originating, right? That has such great opulence. And so Krishna shows it to him, okay? But according to the scientists, they are saying, uh, okay, you see, there are some protozoa and from over many, many millions of years, first plants evolved, then fish evolved, amphibians came, reptiles came, mammals came, then birds like that. So they have an evolutionary chart that tells them that, okay, only certain time frame ago, human beings came on earth. Okay, so what are they trying to say? Huh? They are trying to trace back this origin of, you know, human life or life on earth, okay, to something, some even, some, some organism that was there in the very beginning. Now for this, for identifying that, okay, what do they have to do? They have to sometimes and mostly, I see there are a couple raised hands, mostly they do a lot of um 
you know, searching through fossils. Yes, Shreyan or Nikita, do you have anything to say? I was about to say that um, humans are actually monkeys. Humans are monkeys? Do Mataji, you... Mataji, I have a question. Shreyan? Um, you said that um Krishna said said he was the creator of all elements. Then how is Brahma the creator then? Oh, wonderful. Very nice. Mataji. Yes. Ryan? My mom said that it, 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 um, human, a monkey cannot evolve to a human. Your mother is very intelligent. Yes, that's right. Okay. So monkeys didn't evolve into humans. Humans and monkeys came from the same ancestor. That's what Darwin said in his book, I think. Hmm. That's actually true. That it takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of time to evolve. Yes. Yeah, so, so, so we, we are not sure about it. No? Ape like, right? So ape like species. Okay. So let us let me quickly get to Shreyan's question. Shreyan, you have a very uh, you have asked a very good question. Okay. If look, we are saying Krishna is the origin of everything, how is Brahma in here? So how do we say that Brahma is the creator? Okay. So Krishna, he is the origin of even Brahma. I hope you know that. Right? Okay. So when Krishna, he what does he do? He creates the all he creates all the universes. All of the universes come from him. And then he devises a, the blueprint for what is supposed to be there in the universe, okay? And based on that, Brahma, he does the secondary creation. And that's how we say that Brahma is our creator because we all come from Brahma. I hope that's clear. Mm. Yes, uh, then what does origin mean? Origin as in the source. So Krishna is the source of everyone. He is the source of Brahma. He is the source of this universe. He is our source. Okay? Mataji? Yes, yes. I have a question. Yes, Prisha. Uh, did, uh, was Lord Krishna the first God? Ah, yes. Yes, that's why Krishna is saying that everything comes from me. The Lord is always existing. Mataji? Yes, it is just, oh, ho, ho, hold on a second, okay, Ryan. Yeah, uh, so the Lord is always existing. It is just that sometimes he has to appear on our planet, right? So he appeared directly as his original self, Krishna. That is why we say Krishna is the source of everything, okay? I... Mataji? Yes. Krishna is... is... Is from Vishnu because Vishnu is, is the is Krishna because he is the one who turned into Krishna. Hmm. Quite the contrary. Yeah. Okay. So when Krishna descends into the material world, he has to come through Vishnu. Okay. But ultimately, in the most supreme spiritual planet. Who is there? Who is there in this in the spiritual world? Krishna. 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 Shri Krishna. 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 So let us see. Okay, so we say that if humans had evolved from ape-like species or monkeys, then why is it that those life forms are also present? Like what some of you also said, right? From the fishes, the amphibians came. Then how is it that we still have fishes? We still have amphibians. Now from amphibians, the next life form came. But then how is it that there is fishes, there's amphibians, and then the next life form is also there? How is that possible? Hmm? It is because there, 
they all are existing so if something has to uh, evolve from another then the previous one should stop being present right okay so there are there is there is a lot of variation to this because genetically also there are ways in which you can evolve right and 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 at the at the cellular level also there is constant evolution happening so it is a very complicated topic what we need to understand is that everything originates from the supreme lord and what does krishna say krishna says in bhagavad gita in chapter 14 text 5 krishna says sarva yoni shukamte ya who wants to say this verse sarva yoni sarva yoni shukamte ya bodaya sabha vandya ta sam brahma mahadyoni aham bija pita pita so krishna says that aham bija pita pita i am the seed giving father okay so we should understand that all the species of life ha huh, they are all originating from the supreme lord krishna mata ji this is a this is a father's day um shloka really nice yeah okay thank you so much balavinda okay so that's why there mm-hmm. is always coexistence between the various species of life now one example of this is when the samudra manthan happens okay when the churning of the mm. happens do we see that there are uh, amphibians there do we see the lord in the form of kurma we also see there is the huge snake who is there vasuki who is being used as the churning mm. rope right mm. and we also mm. see who else do we see we see garuda and on garuda's back lord vishnu came and what did lord what did garuda uh, carry on his back he carried the mandara yes okay so yeah wasn't it mandara <laughs> they churned the milk ocean and that time so you can see all the various species of life and who all came out of it we see that there is the airavat what is airavat who is airavat he is an elephant elephant of indra elephant of indra ah we see horse right which i saw yeah the horse team i mean the fire demon you fired yeah so he also so all the various species are already coexisting similarly we talk about very advanced um, you know a very advanced vanaras during the time of lord rama at that time are we saying that there is no humans no when ravana seeks a blessing from a uh, boon from uh, brahma he asks for a pr- for protection from all so many different species from all the different kinds of demigods from gandharvas from so many different beings but he says he doesn't ask say anything specifically about the monkeys and the uh, human beings okay so all of them did exist since time immemorial the ramayan happened many hundreds of thousands of years ago right so then what is the kind of evolution where is that evolution happening mm-hmm. what happens is we are all what are we we are are we this body the yes, soul we are soul we are soul so part and parcel of krishna we are so soul okay so we are the soul we are the soul so their soul what happens the soul is evolving by changing by transmigrating from one mm. body to another we may be in a fish body from a fish body we may go to a dog body and based on that and then from a dog body we may go higher to a higher life form okay maybe a monkey body maybe a tiger body and from there we might okay. get a human form of life what is your question yeah yes question who is uh, so the question is so the monkeys from ramayana why do they look like humans 
the mine are vanaras okay why do, do they look like humans here they are monkeys what? yeah human like what? monkeys they uh they're, uh they're human vanaras, monkeys which are half. They're called vanaras they are a special kind of monkeys just like how among monkeys you have the orangutans you have the gorillas you have the chimpanzees mm. sorry gorillas would be like they can really walk on two feet right and then you have so many different varieties of monkeys that mostly on their on 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 four limbs right so in the same way the vanaras are very advanced okay okay then this what happens is the soul they keep on evolving how are they evolving by changing from one life and other one one kind of a uh, species to an other they take one body to another and like what one of our dear good wonderful children said in the beginning that what happens is we evolve from a little baby to a small child to an adult and what happens when we become an adult we still have that baby body i wish right i were 15 years younger and look the same no but that doesn't happen constantly our bodies are changing we are evolving and we are consciously also evolving over time hopefully in the right direction thank you so much akshat wan very nice yes so uh, madhuri i have a question yes prisha do uh, do monkeys that we uh, see in this time they also do uh, ev evolute e evolve you mean yeah evolve okay so the monkey also has a soul okay yeah so that soul is what will evolve it can evolve into a human in the next life okay based on their past karma okay i hope that makes sense but as monkeys yes mata ji okay yes so so all the species are existing now and they were also existing in the past okay don't worry if they are going to change or not okay the monkey today is not going to become a human tomorrow in its form okay so don't worry about that yeah okay so so what happens is uh, there wasn't this was an analogy that i wanted to say if we are traveling in train you can travel by the you can travel by either the first class second class third class what happens is you can go you can be in the unreserved compartment general compartment right where you'll be standing you'll get pushed all that and then what happens you decide oh no i don't want to stay in this general class let me go to sleeper i can get a good night's rest there but when you go there does it mean that this general class doesn't exist no it exists even if you go into a nice ac compartment the other classes also other coaches also exist right so it does not mean that just because one is created the other does not exist okay so in the same way the soul it is always existing but it is constantly evolving it is transmigrating from one place to the next to the next trying to make our life better make the soul's life better okay and so the soul evolves through these different species it can evolve from the aquatic form to the plants to insects to birds to animals and then we get a human form of life that's why we say this human form of life is very very rare we have to take this opportunity to understand who we are and why we are here okay so let's look at the various gra gradation of life okay this human form is a juncture either based on what we are doing in this life we can go up to the higher planets or we can go down 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 into the animal species into demoniac species into god knows what not right so this is just a description of all the you know how the evolution process would be 
uh, think of it as an evolution of our uh, soul. So first, we can be an inanimate object to a living immo Im immovable entity. From there, we evolve into an entity with greater life symptoms. And so even when Brahma created, he created like that, right? He created entities with a higher developed consciousness. Then he created entities that have some sense perception. Then what did that begin with? It began with touch. Then those beings that have the sense of taste, sense of smell, those who can hear, the beings who can distinguish one form from another, the living beings who have two sets of teeth. Then there were living beings who have many legs. Yes, you have any questions? I'm sorry, I'm just trying to go through this as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Okay, and then there are living beings who uh, have many legs. Then there came many legs like you have the centipedes and the millipedes, right? And the spiders. Okay, and then you have animals that have four legs. Then came the humans with two legs. So when Brahma created, that's how he had created them. Hmm? One after the other after the other. And then what happens? Among the humans, then we have, depending on our ashram, like our... um on how our consciousness you are divided into humans who don't follow varnashram dharma then you see humans who are in the varnashram dharma then we have humans who are brahmanas brahmanas who have vedic knowledge brahmanas who understand what the meaning of the vedas is and brahmanas who can dispel our doubt then there are brahmanas who also they follow their duties then we see the liberated person followed by a pure devotee. He is in the highest level of consciousness because a pure devotee is constantly connected with Krishna. Okay, so um, uh, yeah, I think I have only a couple more slides, so I'll just quickly go through it. Okay, so as you can see was there something Mataji? I'm sorry. No Mataji, please continue. Yeah. So you make your choice of which path you want to follow. Okay. So if you like Krishna, then you can go to Krishna. If you like someone else, then you can go there. Okay. The verse from Bhagavad Gita, 9th chapter, 25th verse. Yanti Deva Vrita Devan Pitran Yanti Pitra Vrita Bhutan Yanti Bhuteja Yes, Yanti Madhya Jino Pimam. Hari Priya, did you want to answer? Hmm. Hare Krishna Mataji, I had a question about the previous slide. So yes. like the first level, it said inanimate objects. Um, Like what would be an example of that? That's a very good question. Yeah, I think that would be like uh, rocks and other, you know, objects. Trees. No. Trees would be living immovable objects. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Rocks, mountains. Bacteria? So bacteria can still move. So, yeah, uh, I think it would be mountains and rocks. Rocks and mountains, yeah. If you just go through that um, chapter, I think it's the uh, third canto, 10th chapter, maybe we can see. If I have time, I will go through it quickly. Thank you so much, Hari Priya. I'm sorry. Okay. So, as you like, you can choose which path you want to go. So if you worship the demigods, then you can go there. If you worship ancestors, you can go. So based on our desire, we can go into these different, different, different. You see, there are different forms that we can take. Okay. It may not be in this life, in the next life, because we know that we continuously, the soul is eternal. So as long as we have material desires, we'll remain in this material world. But the moment we decide, decide that I only want Krishna, I don't want anything else in this world, I only want to go back to the spiritual world, that's where I belong, then we can attain that. Okay? So I also, I see there are a couple hands raised. If you have questions, uh, I'm, this is the last slide. After this, I'll take questions. Okay? So... 
from fossils. You see, Darwin's theory is based on the fact that, okay, we don't have evidence that there were humans existing many, many millions of years ago, many thousands and millions of years ago, right? That's why he's saying that, okay, from one, another came, another came, another came, okay? So what happened is they said, yes, any, do we have questions now? Okay, I'll tell you this. Oh, Mataji? Yeah. Can I say something really quick? Uh, I, um, if our philosophy is true that uh, like uh, before, like in the Satya Yuga, like uh, all the humans uh, were like Indians kind of, uh, then they would do like fire, uh, then they would uh, burn the body. So I was thinking maybe that's why we don't that's see any fossils. Mentioned. Yes, Srila Prabhupada also says. And, and so one reason is we as humans, we burn the bodies. And also the climatic condition is not so suitable that it will preserve you know, the, the life, the, the body, right? Even if they were buried. Okay. Um, but in the place called uh, Jebel Irhaud, it was in Morocco in northern part of africa okay because according to uh, according to scientists the whole of Asia, western africa you mean what in north west northern yes, western yes. africa exactly okay so uh in morocco they found uh homos the oldest homo sapien remains that have ever been found it was 300,000 years ago, okay? Because that's how the skull of a homo sapien looks, the jaws, the teeth. They found, I think, five different samples, five individuals, okay? That looked pretty much like modern human beings. Now, this is the oldest. I saw that in Michael Cremo's book, uh, there were uh, talks of uh, homo sapiens found, uh, samples found from 100,000, 200,000, but I saw that this is the oldest that uh, they have ever found. And that too, outside Southern Africa, because they kind of try to maintain that the homo sapiens, actually the modern man started in South Africa. But here they found another site where there are homo sapien remains and that's the oldest okay uh, so um, again what happens is so they said that everything originated in africa but recently there was a finding uh, in chennai india okay where they found very sophisticated blades stone blades that were used by the modern man or at least what they claim was only used by the modern man that, ex that are from 250,000 years ago, okay? So this came immediately after the appearance of modern man in Africa. So what this suggests is that there might have been another species or like another mm, subcategory of humans species that were able to invent such tools, such modern weapons, such modern implement, you know, uh, tools, basically, even in India, 250,000 years ago. It may not have been that everybody, I mean, all homo sapiens originated from Africa and they spread all over the world. It could also be that there was another species that was already existing there that had much better technologies. Okay, so that was what I wanted to say. Do you have any questions? Adhiji, we don't have any questions. We want to play a couple. I know. Yes, Charu Sheila, thank you so much for raising your hand and waiting very patiently for such a long time. Do you, you lose your Why hair you when um, you die? Do you, you lose your hair when you die? Yeah. We lose our body when we die. We lose the body when we die. Uh, but uh, so... I, I didn't really follow. What do you mean by lose your hair when you die? You know, after you die, whatever remains. Mataji, in the skeleton, there is no hair. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you're saying. <laughs> very, very interesting. Okay. Okay. Question. Quickly, quickly. Can I ask everybody? 
please get your devices ready. Go to kahoot.it and I am going to start it and I will answer your questions. Okay. Mataji, I got I got already on it. Yes, very good. Uh, Mataji. Yes, Mataji. Yes, Charushila, did I answer? Did uh, Vinita Mataji answer your question? Okay, the skull, the skull is uh, within this out, you know, within our head. Okay, it is inside. The hair is not connected to the skull. So after the uh, body decays over a long period of time, what is left is just bones, right? Teeth, bones, some hair will be there, but it will all be separate. Okay, so don't worry. When we die, everything will be like looking okay. <laughs> okay, sorry. Uh, Shivansh, did you have a question? Okay. Yeah, so I have one question. Yes, so I have presented the game pin. Yeah. So Please does one. our heart it also dissolve in the soil when we die? It's like what? when we but get buried in the soil. Does our what? heart also get um dissolved? Oh, heart get dissolved. Okay, heart is an organ. So the, they heart, are... the heart is a muscle, like an uh, organ. Every organ is a muscle, so yeah, it will decay. Yeah. Okay. So, so fossils. That's why fossils are mostly skeletons. Okay. Mataji. Yes. Um, I I don't have the Kahoot game. It. I'm just playing it first time. Okay, so go to kahoot.it. Okay, on whatever okay. device you have right now, you can four, go. Three, four, three, three, seven, four, three, four, three, can someone type it for you? Seven four three four three two nine. That is the game pin. So just go to kahoot.it. I don't know if you can use the app. Maybe there is an app and you can use it. But otherwise. You can just join. I have very simple questions because we have all. Uh, yeah. You go. Uh, seven, four, three, four. Okay. Are we ready to start? Uh, no, Mataji, Mataji, I'm not joined. I'm joining right now. No, Mataji. Wait for no, me. Mataji. Okay. okay. Mataji, I'm not ready yet. I'm just joining yeah. already. Yeah, I will wait for you. Uh, Nikita, did you have a question? Hi, Janami. Hare Krishna. Hi, Hi. Are you joining, Janami? Kahoot? Yes. Hare Krishna, Mataji. It's is still loading. Hare Krishna, yeah. Mataji. This is Palvit. Sorry, I'm late. It's still ah, loading. Nice to hear your voice. How oh, is it still loading? I was eating my food that time. Uh, I hope you heard it. It's still loading into the hoot app. Mataji? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, we, um, it still shows it's checking our name. It's checking on your name? My it was checking a little while for me. Yeah, me too. I don't know, Mataji. Yeah. Today it is taking long time to just get in. Even Vrinda get, got in and she dropped off. And now she has to enter with a different name because yeah. it's not allowing her yeah, to Yes, Mataji. Yes, yes. It's not taking your name. Not taking your name? Next time. Okay, I'm going to, I just quickly muted everyone so that I can hear one at a time. I hear that so many of you are having difficulty joining. Mataji, I'm not. Yes, if you need the game pin, game pin is 7434329. I'm putting it in the chat. I might have an explanation why people are getting kicked out. Oh, yes, please. And, like, 
Mataji, if you click someone on the screen, they, they will get exited out of the I'm thing. clicking people on the screen. Oh my God, so sorry. I might be doing that because I'm trying to click on uh, the participants. I just saw my name finally. Thank you, Prishat. Okay. Finally, you all are able to join. Okay. Mm -hmm. What happened, Mataji? What was the problem? Oh, I'm not ready. Maybe because because I'm sharing the Kahoot screen, I have access to only little. Screen. Okay, there are forty three people who have joined. Are we good? Ma Mataji, the one also has entered. I don't know. You have to put another name. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Could you please wait for me? Okay. Yes, I'm waiting. Mataji, can you delete my other account? Who is that? Which one? Jack, I want to exit. My name will stay. Can you delete two more of my accounts? Because Mataji, can you delete me more of my accounts? Wait, wait, wait. We can do one thing. I don't know who to delete. I'm still joining. It doesn't matter if your account is Yes, Misha. Because... You won't be it will, the account will automatically be in last if you don't use it to answer something. It will be in last. Uh, can you see Bala Vrinda? Mataji, can you see Bala Vrinda in the in the Gandharvika? I see that, that is not that is some other kid, I think. Can you take um Janavi out? Sorry, the name. I am not able to take anybody out. Oh, you want Mataji, me to can you please see Vrinda? Mataji? 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 I, I somehow don't have to. Sure, 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 Mataji. Sure, I can do that. Mataji, yeah. can you please, um, Mataji, can you please um, see if my name is there, Balavrinda? Yeah, Balavrinda, I saw your name. is being kicking like so many times. She's getting kicked out. I don't know what's the reason. Mataji, she joined with Vrinda. She got kicked out. Vrinda one kicked out. Now Mataji, she's joining as Balavrinda. Mataji, Mataji, I have an idea. I'm only to join. Yes. yes. Mataji, I have an idea. Yes. I want to join so and I can join. Isha. It's still saying checking your nickname. Yes, Balavrinda, you got in. And Shivansh, anybody else is not able yeah, to Yeah, Balavrinda do... got in, Mataji. Thank you. Uh, now, Mataji, I'm now, I'm now, I'm in. now I am in. Now I am in. Everybody is in. I think there are I am in. Everybody's in. Thank you so much. Oh, okay, please, I'm please. not in. I'm not in. Mataji, can you see Prisha name? Because Mataji, I'm, I'm not able, able to, to get in. Sure. I'm not in. in. Mataji, mm -hmm. there's so many names. It says okay, it was a ten. I don't see your name, Prisha. I don't see your name. Misha, uh, it, it was showing me. Sorry, this name has taken. Like, what okay, does it put mean? another name. Just put another name. Just put uh, Krishna. Krishna Prisha. Okay. okay. And then okay. you um, chat. My name, my my name, it says that my name is um stolen. It says that somebody already has this name. Okay, then, then put another one. Put like something. Yeah. When I, I joined the second time, it, it was saying your name has been taken by someone else. My name. Okay. Yes. Yes. If you know, so I enter my I am... own name. Then I enter my own name, Sian, then it works. Face Very good. Okay. So I am going to start now. I hope we are good to go. Okay. I'm not in. What is it? Okay. Risha, did you get in? I'm no. not in. No, Mataji. Okay. I uh, Chaitanya, have you been able to get in too? I thought I saw your name in here. Mataji, I got in. Yes. Okay. I think Okay, it's already 4.35. If I don't start now, all of you are going to be really mad at me for not starting the call. Okay. So let me get started. Mataji, can I write the answers yes, on the yes, paper? Please write the, okay, write the answers and send it. Okay? It'll be you, you'll you'll get some credit for it. Don't worry. Okay, so what is evolution? 
I have some answers on the screen. Humans ruling the universe. Is it changing from one body to another? Is it to fight for a new system? That's revolution. And Earth's travel around the sun. It's purple. Very good. Yes. Uh, answer number three to fight for a new system is called revolution. Earth's travel around the sun is also known as revolution. That was all. And humans ruling the universe? Mm, not so. But you're right. When we change from one body to another, it is known as evolution. I hope you all can see the screen. Wow, the spirit soul is in number one position. Okay, so let's quickly go on to the next question. The most popular theory on evolution, which is probably not so popular anymore based on what you all have told me, was by Albert Einstein, Isaac Newton, Charles Darwin, or Neil Armstrong. No one will think it's Isaac Newton after... That Mom, someone is writing the answers in the chat. Oh, oh, don't write answers in the chat. Kids, please don't say the answer. Okay, I am going to disable chat because now nobody needs to answer. Okay, thank you. Most of you got it right. It is Charles Darwin. Okay, so let us move on. Hare Krishna. Everyone remembers. He has moved six places and Smriti is in second place. Okay, what is the scientific source of life? According to scientists, what is the source of our life? Is it God? Is it man? Is it, is it aliens or elements and chemicals? I told you, this is going to be super easy. You're going to breeze through this. Oops. I clicked the wrong answer. Okay, that's why I said scientific. because Okay, I know God seems like a wonderful answer, right? But here, uh, it is what they have already said. Triple A. Okay, I see that the scoreboard has completely changed thanks to this one question. Triple A. Okay, uh, in Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says, Aham Sarvasya Prabhavo. What does this mean? Everything ends in me. I am the origin of everything. I am aloof from the material world. Or you can find me in Goloka. Krishna's address. Aha, very good. 39 of you have answered it. As and you can find me in Goloka. Goloka. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go yep. I'm the origin of everything. Actually, for us to look for Krishna, we don't have to go very far. He's right here with us. He's in our heart. Okay. Brihati one has the uh, highest answer streak. Very good, Brihati one. Sanvi is in number one. True or false? Very easy. True or false. In Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says, I am the seed giving father. True or false? Is Krishna the seed giving father? Very easy question. I hope you all answer very, very quickly. Oh, why did it take so long? What happened? <laughs> yeah, Krishna is the seeding, seed giving father. He is Aham Bija Prada Pita. Okay, I'm trying to click next. Oh, please don't. Please don't. What happened? Okay. Yeah, Sanvi continues to be in number one and the spirit soul is second. Abhi is in third place and triple A is in fourth. What is spiritual evolution? It is our transformation from monkeys to man. It is thinking I am the body. It is the soul moving from one body to another. Or trying to find myself. Very good. Who wanted to transform from monkey to man? We are. Spiritual evolution is the soul moving from one, transmigrating from one body to another. I wanted to keep it simple. So I asked you that way. Very good. Thank you all for participating. You know, don't worry about the scoreboard at all. All of you are winners because you are all answering these questions. <coughs> 
my dear kids this is a puzzle so you have to arrange these in the uh, form of consciousness in the form of their the appear. highest first or last lowest to highest so first lowest and then higher there is a full minute for this if anybody is writing answers on a sheet of paper please uh, take a picture and send it in the group we'll be more than happy to look at it okay and don't worry at all i know kahoot is so much fun when we are doing it right here i didn't know there was a puzzle ever uh, i didn't know that there was a question like this how okay. mm -hmm. yeah something different okay, okay. Do you want me I to do the opposite? Okay. Oh, oh, if you do the opposite, you'll get all of them wrong. Okay, from lowest to highest. Okay, we started with, oh, wow. We have 19 of you who got it right. I'm sorry, I didn't realize this is the first time you're all doing this. But, okay, so in a puzzle, you have to move them around and then um, it should be in the reverse order. Okay, lowest first, then higher, then it's higher. It's not my first time. I did this and I got it wrong. Oh, okay. I did this many many times, Mataji. This is not my first. This is my first. This is my second time for Kahoot, and this is my first time for the puzzle. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we start with. Isn't Nancy it upside Kahoot. down, Mataji? Huh? Isn't it upside down, like lowest to highest? Yeah. So Students lowest. Have the highest consciousness. So they should be at the top. That's why I said lowest to highest. Like lowest, you write first. Then oh. Next, then the next higher and then the highest would be at the bottom i thought like oh okay. i'm sorry palvit did you get it wrong okay so that's why okay no problem don't worry we'll we'll forget that there was a question like this okay so it starts with inanimate objects then beings with sense of touch animals with four legs if i know how to spell the word animals and humans with two legs, okay? Well, okay. Tough round, yes. I'm sorry about that. Okay, question. Those who worship the Supreme Lord go to which world? They go to the spiritual world, the planet of ancestors, demigod planet, or they stay on earth? This is based on the verse that we read, right? Yanti Devan, Vita Deva. But Mataji, yeah, I'm not the writing the answer. I am just writing the color of the answer. Okay. Uh oh. Okay, that would be difficult. But Mataji, this this was my random guess, and I got it right. Very good. Forty three of you got it right. Very proud. Very good. It is the spiritual world. That is the correct answer, obviously. Okay. If we want to go back to Krishna, we go to the spiritual world. Second last question. In which scripture does Lord Krishna impart knowledge to Arjuna? Okay, the last two questions are super easy. So you both, you all should get this right. Which scripture does Lord Krishna impart knowledge to Arjuna? Srimad Bhagavatam, Bhagavad Gita, Vishnu Purana or Rig Veda? I accidentally clicked the wrong answer again. Come on. <laughs> Akshat. Okay. Okay. Oh, some of you want, okay. Was there an instance in Srimad Bhagavatam? I thought about it hard before I put that in. I thought there was nothing. There was. Where? Which chapter? Which canto? I don't remember. <laughs> okay. So, because Lord Krishna is imparting knowledge in the Bhagavad Gita to Arjuna. Okay. Aksharam has the highest answer streak. Very good, Aksharam. Okay. A theory is proof that something is 100% true. True or false? I have also got a picture over here of what a theory is. And based on that, you can answer. Except that the picture is a little too tiny. You can click on it and it will go big. You want me to click? No, I can't click on it. Okay. So a theory is not a proof. Okay. A theory is something that is based on just our observation, based on some experiments. Okay? So, in order to prove something... Yeah, you know, Mataji, who is the winner? Absolutely certain. Okay, you're ready for... Let's move on the podium.
In third place, we have Deepak K. Very good, Deepak K. Okay. And second place, we have Abhi. And in first place, I know the puzzle. Oh, the spirit soul came back up. Who is the number? Who, Who is spirit soul? soul? Who is spirit soul? <laughs> we all are, right? <laughs> yeah. But thank you all for answering. I hope it was okay. Uh, I'll stop sharing. Do you all want to see what your scores are? Yeah, or... Mataji, what is your scores? Yeah, Mataji. Yeah, Mataji. Yeah, Mataji. Okay, everybody wants to see that. Now, let me go find it. I forgot how I'm gonna how I can find it. I was I was behind by ten points. You were in fourth place, and then I got down. Yeah, yeah. Mataji, kids know Mataji. You can ask kids how to remove the report. They will tell you. View summary. I got it, Mataji. It's right here. No, no. I got. There we go. I was behind the spirit soul by ten points. That's it. That's it. Wow. Okay. Who is the spirit soul? Do you want to reveal who you are? We would love to know who you are. Who is the spirit soul? Hari Priya? Oh, oh Hari Priya, are you the spirit soul? <laughs> I didn't hear you. I said yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, nice. Wonderful. Okay, okay, so. Uh, how does it say there were 100 players? Oh, because some of you had to go out. Okay. Yeah, so many times, three, four times. Exactly, hundred. How is that mean? Yeah, like exactly. Yeah, fifty participants, though. Each well, kid how many of you have hundred percent correct answers? We just had ten questions, right? And of ten questions, Spirit Soul, Abhi, Deepak, Akshat, Gopalam, Aksharam, Advait, all of you have all ten right. Wow, wonderful, wonderful. And then we have. Just with just one wrong answer, we have Smriti, we have Triple A, Sanvi, Brihati, uh, Aisha, Agastya, Gandharvika, and then again we have a hundred percent, but I think the timing was less. Akshara, 90, Sharvi, Sharia, sorry, Shriyan, Krishna, Shreyan, Pratik. Wow, all of you did so good, you are all excellent. I see Palvit. Ninety percent Janavi, ninety percent Samskriti, eighty Laddu baby. Who's Laddu baby? <laughs> so cute. Ninety percent. My mom. My mom is Laddu baby. <laughs> she was Winnie baby last time, and this time she's Laddu baby. This is so not fair. You are a Laddu only. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, Shri Abigya. Everybody did so good. I'm so proud of all of you. Okay. If you want to see your name. Please check. Um, I am triple A. You are triple A. Yes. So Anvita, Ryan, Nikita, Sanvi. Okay, some of you I think couldn't even get through some of the questions. I apologize. There's two ten percent. What? There were two ten percent. Yeah, they did not get to finish. Okay, so thank you all so much for participating and thank you all for waiting so long. It's already 4.49. Bye. Bye, 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 bye. Hare Krishna. Bye. Hare, Hare Krishna. Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you so much for taking the class. Hare Krishna. Bye. 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 Bye.